Hallo meine lieben Freunde, herzlich willkommen zu Gaming Dragon und zu einer weiteren Gesamtaufnahme von Simba League Park im Speedrun Modus. Ja, in der letzten, ähm, im letzten Teil haben wir den Brief gemacht und gehen jetzt quasi den abgeben. Diggin! Hi Doug, what are you digging? All right, Dolores, I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug, you're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Okay. How exciting! I hope I get the job. Fünf Tage später gegen 17 Uhr. <lacht> ich liebe diese Stelle. Hi, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh. Good luck. See ya. Dig in. Dig in. Gut. Dann öffnen wir. I think I want to open this in my room. Just in case it's really bad news. Na gut, dann rauf in die Zimmer. Und hier öffnen. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. You know, okay, does. but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad, stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck? Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so yes. excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Okay, es geht nicht mehr, Kikika. Gut, also. Dafür. Und gehen durch. So. Gebe Brief an Chuck. So. Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. Gut, das trinken. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be, uh, Game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Yeah. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real-life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. 
Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Gut. Also, wir müssen mit Dolores auch mal reden. So. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent Ray for a while. Wonder what happened to her. So, gehen wir zum Außenbezirk. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Das klingt nicht gut. Das klingt verdammt normal nicht so gut. It's too dark to see. Uh, irgendwo ist ein Lichtschalter, wenn ich mich noch recht. I'm feeling some concern for Agent Ray. Uh, for a good time, the number muss ich mal anrufen. So, ein bisschen Toilettenpapier mitnehmen. Ich glaube, das brauche ich für irgendwas, brauche ich das, das Toilettenpapier noch. Ach ja, ich kann mich wieder erinnern. Stimmt. Und das bei einem Speedrun. Zu vergessen, warum man Dinge braucht. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Gleich okay, reden wir mit ihm. Erstmal muss. Münze mit. I'm not sure why, but okay. Seems like a waste of a good dime. So, wir brauchen den nämlich hier unten. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Leere Flasche an Leonard. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie Pal humor. Here you go. So. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> okay. Do you. you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately <laughs> are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za. When Willie, the town bum, walks in, was totally whack when I think about it. 
Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Tell me a bit okay. about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No. You just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like Ooh. an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. Okay. Ah, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal, for one. Okay, I'm going to look around your store. So, jetzt kann ich unten auf I'd better start looking for Agent Ray. It's been too long. Let me know if I can help you find anything. So, wir werden aber jetzt ein bisschen puzzeln. Dazu brauchen wir nämlich ein Telefonbuch und das muss hier sein. So. Hier ist das Telefon. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Gut, also, darum haben wir den Dime hier runtergeschmissen. It's a dime, but it's now pretty slimy. Damit wir hier nämlich weitermachen können. So. So. Überall mal dieses Staubkörner aufsammeln. Markus T. Felder müssen wir anrufen, damit... Das heißt, wir müssen eben hier aus dem Telefonbuch suchen. Äh, mit Markus M. Markus T. Felder, 2621. Sollte man sich halt merken. 2-6-2-1. The only reason to pick up a manhole cover is to go down the manhole. And I'm not in the mood tonight. Nutze 10 in Telefon. 
Ich glaube, ich habe mich verwählt. There's a dime in the coin return. Ich schau noch mal nach. Zwei sechs zu eins. Ich habe es vorhin umgedreht. Zwei sechs zu eins. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks. Good. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no Donut Arenos down here. <laughs> oh. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office Areno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office Areno flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. Oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. So. Ab jetzt sind beide wieder bereit. Habe ich da eigentlich schon beide gegessen? Ich glaube ja. Ja. So, hier muss ich die Röhre abgeben. Hier ist your WC67 Tube. Thank you. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. So the Karte brauche ich später. Oh. Wieder ein Ding von unseren mysteriösen Roger. Da ist wieder ein Stoppkorn. Da ist noch ein Stoppkorn. Hier habe ich jetzt wieder ein Stoppkorn. Gut. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a Fed. Jo, bin ich auch. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd-arino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. Okay. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. 
The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Intriguing. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agni intervention? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Pillows, chalk, magnates. Got it. Kind of bored now. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. What do you know about the Pillow Factory's security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Clark Kent? <laughs> if this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the mansion with a lethal weapon. Okay, and and a fall bam. So we have ja here a person die uns da. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Attention, all units. Eine Frau bei der alten Villa eine Mistgabel ohne Genehmigung nutzend mit vier Platten Reifen ohne Grund lächelnd mit illegaler Straußen fahren was? und ein Laubbläser nach 17 Uhr benutzend da würde ich ja die Mistgabel sagen it's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. So, jetzt ist sie weg. Jetzt kann ich die wichtigste Sache hier nehmen, nämlich die Map. Nutze 5 Cent in... Und... Nutze... What a nice copy. And in color too. So. Nehme die aktuelle Karte, nutze Karte in... Ding. So, jetzt hängt sie da. Jetzt habe ich meine eigene Karte. Hallo meine lieben Freunde. Das war's von Simple Week Park. Ich hoffe es hat euch gefallen und ihr bleibt mir gewogen mit einem Abo und einen Daumen rauf. Unten in der Wiederbeschreibung der Link zum dem Link, mit dem ich der Let's Go's Online Let's Play und natürlich all die Links zu meinen laufenden Let's Plays. Ich verbleibe als euer Gaming Dragon mit dem heißen Vario für diesen Part.